All right, so today we're going to be focusing on a micro interaction on Hover. And I've been seeing this on different websites, Webflow, Words, etc. And for the longest time, I tried to make it work with GSAP, but for some reason, I Happen. So the other day, while browsing the internet, I came about a piece of code that looked like would work in Elementor. So after a few trial and errors, uh, it did. All right, so we are going to be adding a container in this container and this happened. Okay, let's copy and paste it in here. Delete this. This happens sometimes. All right, so this container will be a full width container. We're going to give it some height, let's say about, ooh, let's say 50, all right, 50 VH and the width, let's say this can be 65. All right, let's leave it like this, it's not important. So this container will hold our headings, but these headings, although they can be converted into links, because of the code, it doesn't work so you have to add those headings into their own separate container which then will be converted into a link don't ask me why this is happening but it is and we do what we can do all right i am adding the first container and i'm going to add a heading in here I know what you're gonna say, oh my god, so many containers, oh no, what is she doing? Well, sometimes you have to sacrifice some things in the name of beauty, right? Oh, uh, what am I doing? Hello. Alright, so I will leave it as an, an, an H2 tag and that should be okay. So we will need to give this heading a class, but until then, let's go and style this just a little bit honestly this is not important because the styling that will happen will happen actually in the um, css and we will need to add css uh, in order for this to look like this basically on the front end as well let's first convert this container into a link so uh, if you don't know how to do that go to layouts yeah so yeah you are here okay go all the way down to layouts additional options and go to the html tag and click on a link and here you can dynamically choose uh, an internal link which i will do you can choose whatever you want depending on your use case and i am going to go with with a page that i have here and this should be now clickable so let's have a quick look now we don't have any code in here and let's see what is happening all right so this is our heading that we just created and as you can see as you hover over it you get the grabby hand the cursor that indicates that this is clickable so here we are it works all right let's go back to our editor and now what we are going to do is basically give this heading so go all the way in the container go to the heading and give this a class and for the purpose of this video I will give it the, text, the class of text, but you can give it anything. Make sure that you change this everywhere you see this in the code, in the CSS code, as well as in the JavaScript. So um, I'm going to give this a publish and let's go to our CSS. I already have the CSS in here, not to waste any time. And as you can see, everything is set for us. So basically what you see here, this is the part that actually uh, gives our text on the front end the styling. And obviously what you see here, you will not see right now, you will not see on the front end. So this is going to be most likely green and on hover pink. But before we do that, let's go to see the code. And let me explain you a little bit, just a little bit. Um, there's nothing that you have to change here. You should not change anything. What you have to do though is simply add the class that you just added for your heading and put it in here. Make sure that you update to 
for these changes to take effect and now we can go to our code it's updated everything is updated and let's go and have a look as you can see i told you this is going to be green and pink on hover so if you want to change these things let me explain how you do that all right as you can see here the initial color of the text is green so if i say let's say red okay whatever and then if i go to change this is where you would change the color for the ho on hover effect uh let's just say say salmon that should be it that is all you have to do and nothing else so oh one thing that you have to keep in mind the the line the font size the line height and the the height of the text all work hand in hand so if you change one you have to change the other most likely but it also depends on the font family that you're using so you will have to do a lot of work here on your own uh, to figure out what works for you and if it looks good it might happen that if you change the line height to something smaller let's just do it for the sake of demonstration okay let's wait for this to update um no let's just go first and have a look and as you can see of course everything changed to red and salmon because they all have the same class so yeah all right let's go back to our code here and let's play around with it and if i said 14 let's just say that you wanted to change just the line height. Okay, the line height should now. Let's see what happened. I can tell you, I have to see. <laughs> this is what happened. So, all right, let's change now the height. So, this is no bueno. But if we actually, let's just wait change the size of the font and let's wait to see what happens now but again you might also have to change oops this is kind of okay you still have to play a little bit because as you can see here at the bottom you can see the other the other font coming in so probably a little bit of line height let's see if uh, we can fix that and since we have javascript you will not see the changes uh, on in the editor only on the preview page so this is a little bit hard it's like you have to play a little bit around with it yeah so as you can see i just added a little bit uh, more line height and everything is okay but yeah just keep in mind that these changes need to be made and then you're golden it's not perfect nothing is perfect you have to adapt it to your own project and your needs and before i filmed this video i saw somebody asking if or praying that this will work on mobile i honestly don't know if it's going to work on mobile uh the interaction i have not tested it previously but i don't see why not all right so if you test it on mobile let me know if this worked for you otherwise let me know if you have tried it and how it worked in general and if you have any suggestions on how to improve this for everyone please leave this in the comments below so everyone can see and everyone can benefit from your comments as usual, the code will be in the description below. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.